Relics on Sports Talk. And that's me, Terrell Jenkins. Episode 56, part two. Yeah, we two, two is a magic number. We got two left in the building. The other two had to get up out. They went, they couldn't handle the heat, you know, feet to the fire. You know what I'm saying? But we got, we got, we got my man Chris still with me doing it. My man is hype out here in fantasy football. Uh, Skill instinct. instinct. Yo, I'm gonna have to start rocking that for him because my man is doing things in fantasy, yo. He's putting on the show and he's he's almost one step to get into the final four. He's chasing that ring. He's chasing that ring. So we're gonna see this, what's gonna happen. His finger filled up. I'll tell you what, once you get your first ring, it's like a tattoo. They say, you want another one and another one and another one and another one. It becomes Back. contagious. It becomes contagious. So, look, we're going to talk about the rest of the games. You know, we hit on some, some of the hardcore games earlier with Drew and Tommy. But now we're going to talk about the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? We got to give love to all the teams, you know. So, the first one we're going to talk about is um, Carolina Buffalo. We touched on Buffalo a little bit. But um, let's talk about Carolina. Carolina <clears throat> right now, Carolina right now is five and eight. If they go, if they win a couple games, they're right there. I mean, the Redskins were right there in the playoffs a second ago with the Eagles. So I'm not saying mm. Carolina will make the playoffs, but can they beat Buffalo with a hopple Josh Allen in Buffalo though? And no, that's not happening. I think the Bills are going to want it more than them. You think so? They yeah. better. I, I they that's what I'm saying. They better from 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 previous games and their performances in the games is they better beat Carolina. I mean, Carolina's five and eight. They're, the record doesn't show nothing. Carolina is a strong team, but Bills, if they play like they should, they should just sweep by them and put their, their second strings in, yo, second half. I mean, is Cam Newton done? Is Cam Newton done? Him going back to Carolina – was good for his appearance, whatever. Okay, but he's he's not he's not showing that he's he 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 wants to be back. I mean, he's not performing like he should. You know, first game he came back. All right, hype. I give him that. First game. It was hype. After that, it's, I mean, it was like an instant drop, like fucking stocks and bonds, bro. It was ridiculous. Because Cam Newton is what he's always been. He's been a big big boy running the ball. Oh. Running them off, they can never throw. And this is my problem with Lamar Jackson. This is why me and Tommy always have problems. He's talking about he's the best player in football. You can't be the best player in football if you can only be halfway at what your position is. You can Back. run like nobody else can run, but you can't throw the ball better good enough. Bro, always overthrowing his players, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just always. Saying. That's my problem. Wide open. Wide open. Yeah. So I think we both agree on that. Buffalo, I think Buffalo has to win. And then we talk about my Cardinals. They banged up, but they play in Detroit. Detroit got their first win, they're hype. Can Detroit hey, shock the world? Their second win, though. Can they shock the world? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they almost cool. beat the Ravens and they tied the Steelers. Both of them yeah. right now will be in the playoffs. So that's crazy. No, they can't. <laughs> That'd be, That'd be crazy, crazy though. It's the it's NFL, crazy. bro. It's you're talking about. I mean, the NFL point blank, the professional players, okay. Right. And you'll right. have those busted games. You have those busted games, and the Lions, yeah, they have nothing to prove. They're not in nothing. They're one in eleven. They ain't shit. But if they want a W and they want it bad enough, dude, I'm trying to tell you right now. I, I'm not going for the Lions. I, I mean, I see, I see them. I see Cardinals beating them, but I if Lions want to give them a game, I think they can give them a game if they so, if they want to. So looking at it, DeAndre Swift ain't playing for Detroit, so he's out. Who's gonna be the yeah. fantasy player for them? Is it the wide receiver? Who who is it? <laughs> Detroit. I mean, I don't know. But on the other side, you got some somebody for the Cardinals that you might play, you might not play. I'm I'll saying play, you need I'll to play. play. You I'll need play to play him. You need I'm to play him. Now watch it backfire. You like, damn it! Deacon Reed is an undercover monster. I don't care what nobody say. People forget what AJ Green was. AJ Green was that dude. He was yeah, that he dude. Was. Yes, he was. Oh, 
I, so I want to see it. I want to see it. Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald was a quality player, never got a ring. I feel like same thing with A.J. Green, quality player. J.J. Watt, quality player. Even though he got hurt, they can get a ring. He'll get one. You know what I'm saying? Players like that, you root for. You root for players like A.J. Green. Yeah. Then the next game, don't matter to many, but I'll tell you what, I think you brought it up earlier in part one. The Jets going up against the Dolphins defense. Dolphins are six and seven. They win this game. They're seven and seven, and they're one game out of the playoff. No, I'm saying they're in the hunt, man. And if they they want it bad enough, I see Dolphins. You know, they don't have Waddle in this week because of COVID, whatever. He's in my fantasy. I had to bench him. So who are you playing instead of him? um, I ended up playing uh, A.J. Green. Okay. Okay. My flex. I mean, Claypool, it's kind of hard to to really trust Claypool from Pittsburgh, man. He's been a hit and miss. He's been a bust. Russell with Russell's burger too, being a bust this year, man. Right, hasn't really right. shown, you know, Claypool hasn't been able to show, you know, what he's about. And then we all know Claypool is a playmaker, you know, and from Notre Dame, baby, Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah, really tough to 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 really play him, but he's on he's 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 on my he's on my fantasy, but he's not playing this week. So Waddle, Waddle was your guy. On these episodes, you've been talking a lot. Waddle's been showing out. Yeah, now without yo, he, Waddle, now without Waddle, I'm playing Devontae Parker. I just scooped him up in the T League. I almost picked. I I'm almost starting, picked up. Uh, I'm starting this week over over um, Pittman. So I'm really. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm like, hey, who uh, do I throw the ball to? Dolphins ain't got no running backs. They all in COVID. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So I'm like, that's hey. crazy. People are saying the tight end because Seki's gonna have a big game, but we'll see. So I think we both said this about we both we both on the same teams. Next game, them Cowboys nine and four. They can wrap up the NFC with a win. They are going against your boys. They are going to get some Giants at home. It's always a rivalry game, no matter what the records are. What do the Giants? That, what do the Giants have to do to win? What does your boys have to do to win the game? First off, that defense. I got no problem with the defense. The defense is, is damn good. It's just a matter of them not having to stand on Dan Field. Offense, I mean, they we just gotta get the damn ball. We need, we need, we need a line to block. We need them to block. Because when we have good blocking, we, we got targets. And the targets, they show up, you know, and they're there to play. I see an upset. I see guys being cowboys. You said are you calling it by your heart or your head? Both. <laughs> Both. More of your more of your heart. Both, because I don't think the fool's wants to lose anymore. He's on the verge of getting fired. You might be right, too. You might be yeah. right. And, you know? the, and the, Cowboys, the Cowboys have been winning, but they remind me, like the Chiefs, I feel like they should yeah, be way just, better. They should be way better. Like, yeah. they're winning, but I mean, they, Ezekiel Elliott hasn't even been playing like he's been playing at hey, all this year. He's had that what? Either, that five, either. five good games this year. Five good games. Dak ain't you looking know, like Dak either. No. They're it's doing like, just enough like, to win. Yeah, just enough to win, exactly. And it's like they'll play first quarter, great. Second quarter, eh. third quarter, eh. and then fourth quarter, they somehow pull a fucking win somehow out the ass. Like, it's just right. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, so. man. It's, it's the Chiefs and the Cowboys. And watch, as we sit here saying that, watch it be Super Bowl, Cowboys and Chiefs. <laughs> We got C.D. Lamb, too, man, that he's deadly. His little twig-looking ass, man, he's deadly. He's on my fantasy team. I need him to yeah. give me a ring. <laughs> so on the- Give me a ring. So, Tennessee, and I got – and look, I got Barkley in my work league, so I need Barkley. It's a, I got a notification today that said he went from questionable to healthy. So, I need him to be healthy out there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Not get hurt because I need him next week. I was I gotta buy no, him. Running, you, know, you, know, run, you know the running back that will be taking this place if he ever, you know, gets hurt again, right? Or if he just is a bust and they want to play him. Who? Uh, uh, you talking about Booker? Booker. Yeah, Booker. you know, Booker. Yeah, Booker. When he was out, Booker. he was actually he he looked you know, good with the Giants. Booker, Booker, he's 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 a come up. I think he's going to be a come up. He's underrated, but I see him. He has the, he has good blocking, but I do make shit happen. He yeah. make it happen. He works hard. 
He runs yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Booker looks way better. Booker looks way better with the Giants than he did with Denver and other teams. You know what I mean? So, yeah. whatever. Next game, next game. I talked about them earlier with Derrick Henry. Tennessee, 9-4. and four. But do they look like they scare you? They're 9-4. and four. They don't scare me. They're playing Pittsburgh, who Ben already said, I suck. This is my last year. But is, ben, me, is something uh, going to happen with Pittsburgh that they just rally and make the playoffs? I mean, I hate dude, Pittsburgh. It's so it's you know, he pulls the most incredible shit out of his ass. Right. Offenberger, yeah, he's a bust. He He's washed up. But that dude, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to read the defense, and he makes shit happen. Point blank. You know? But Tennessee, though. What about Tennessee? Tennessee I don't think it's Tennessee, though. If Derek, if they played Derrick Henry. I said this earlier in part one. They played Derrick Henry. Okay, they have they, – they have a good chance of winning. Derrick Henry is just – he's a monster. Well, Derrick, Derrick Henry wouldn't but, be back until, like, the last game of the year or something like that they were saying. But Yeah, but I'm saying if they would play him early, if they play him early, they're looking at get, having him out the yeah. rest of the season. If they may playoffs, he's not playing. They just – they need to really give him that extra time, though. Like, running backs are the number one positions in offense that really get – they're the ones that go first. Danger. Need. Yeah, they get dinged up too much. So, um, and that's why you see. I, that's why I, I see Tennessee obviously getting that. I see Tennessee getting that W. I see them getting that W too, but I'm not scared of them. I'm not scared of them either. All yeah. right, the game of the the game that don't matter to nobody except for who's gonna get the number one pick in the draft. Houston and Jacksonville. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'm scared to death for this matchup because I'm going against James Robinson, and he ain't done nothing yeah. the past two weeks because the coach is gone. And players were saying that he's the best player on the team and he never gets the ball. I'm scared they're going to give the ball to him like 50 times and he's going to score like mad touchdowns. I'm scared. I think Jacksonville's going to smack them. I think they're going to smack Houston. Mm. And they both 2 and 11. Yeah, man. Houston's is, man, they've, they've been bad. They've been worse than the Giants. That's terrible. That's just, <laughs> and Houston was a monster team for a few years. But look, they got rid of everybody. Everybody's gone. Yeah. Sean Watson. You know, D Hop, all them mm-hmm. players gone. So I don't know. I, I'm scared of Jacksonville this week just because I don't want Robinson to go off on my fantasy team. I hate this week. Chris, I hate this week in fantasy. This is the worst week in fantasy football because all the year you put in all this work, you get to the playoffs. You and lose, one done. You lose round one. One, one and done. One and done is the worst because at least if you get to the second round and you lose, you know you still got another game to play for third place. You lose week one, round one, you sitting there like, what, what the hell? What what been happened? Like, it, you know, <laughs> and I don't want that shit to happen, yo. I'm know, nervous as like, hell. I'm nervous. nervous. It, even though, even though my man's put up 38 points, man, and it's a tight end, so. It's big, and it makes up for some players that won't make points as expected. So that's right. the good thing, you know, and that's how I look at it. But I need my players to show the hell up. I, I need know. them to show up. They've had this, – this this season in fantasy has given me so much disappointment on star players. You know, it's only been one – there's only been twice this season only. Twice where I benched a player where he ended up – Putting up points when he wasn't doing shit weeks prior. And when I bench them, they finally put up points, and that pisses me off. That happened twice this, this season, but only twice. Usually it happens like three or four or five times the last five seasons I've been in the T-League. But, right. um, you know, with this game, I feel pretty confident. You know, with Josh Allen, he's a he, – he's a you know, I don't see him staying in the pot. I don't see him running at all. And he's not a – Are you going against Josh Allen? Yeah. Don't Brady have a good backup quarterback? Why would he play Josh Allen? Uh, yeah, he has um is it Aaron Rodgers? What? No, he has Jay Fields from Chicago. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing Josh Allen, man. So but yeah, yeah man. So it's the worst feeling, yo, and like it is it's it's hurtful. All right, next mm-hmm. game. Next game, battle of seven and six teams. This is when I said the winner, the winner's probably going to be in the playoffs. 
And as much as I dog Tommy, I can't believe Denver is one of the teams. Cincinnati at Denver. I'm picking Cincinnati, but I've seen Cincinnati look like shit. I look, I've seen them look like shit in games they should have won. And now they're on the road. Mm. It's cold, mile high, you can't breathe. I'm nervous about that. Denver could go to eight and six, and Tommy will really be on me then. (laughs) Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, you know, I'm looking for for T. Higgins to really perform. He's been performing. He's given me shit. The last three weeks, he's been performing tremendously good. And Way better, it's been a right? long time. It's all season long, man. It's been, ooh, it's been an uphill battle for him. And they don't they don't see him. It's like they want to go with Chase. They want to go with, with, uh, with Boyd or, or they want to go with, you know, uh, yeah, so it's like, so with T. Higgins being, you know, he's a wide receiver, wide receiver for three, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm praying and hoping that he, he, you know, he, you know, they look his way because he's a playmaker. And you playing him, really, right? You playing him? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right, good, um, good. The season and now they're looking his way and they're seeing like he's about it and, you just need to give him the ball. That's it. Just I like the, the matchup. I like the matchup because Sir Tan's yeah. probably going to be on um, Jamar Chase. Yeah. So you take you take him over there. I think I think you're right. Your boy has a good matchup. Falcons, Falcons are still in the hunt. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that, yeah. That's the next game. That's the next game. And both of them, the Falcons and the the Fal- Yo, I remember when the Falcons had won like one game or something, dude. How the hell did they win six games? When have they been winning? Have I been just? I, guess I don't know, I got dude. Kyle, I got Kyle Pitts. He has been pulling up, pulling some shit out of his ass to get Cordero these Cordero Patterson, your boy, Cordero Patterson. He's been making shit happen. That running, but yo, he's almost like he's big as Derrick Henry. He's big, and he's, he's a wide receiver slash running back. Like it's crazy. But he's and, not even young. He's been around 10 years. I know. It's crazy how he's been blown up. He started midseason blowing up. And so, so you starting him too, right? He's on your team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hands down. Man, yeah. Your team is good. Your team is good. But my other running back, bro. I I, 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 my other running back, I picked up Royce Freeman because they Rex Burkhead got hurt. He got hurt. So Freeman's gonna start. So, so. Okay. <laughs> then I got Austin Scott from Pitt, from from Philly, and it's iffy because you got Gainwell, you got Sanders, and you got him, and you don't know who you're gonna start. Picked up because Sanders. Pick Sanders is a starter. I picked up Sanders. He is the starter. Yeah, but then you play you you'll play Sanders, and they'll they'll give Boston Scott fifteen oh, carries. Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard. Yo, Let me ask you a question. You picked, you, picked, you picked up Royce picked, Freeman. Royce Freeman. That's all. We, I didn't have nobody look, else to pick up. We just we just talked about the Houston Texans. You picked them up just in an emergency. Because you're right, though. We talked about it in episode one or part A or whatever we call it. We talked about that. With this COVID crap, You, I am so scared that some, one of my star players is going to go into ticker like such and such and such is out for this Sunday's game because of COVID. Oh, I'm going to be mad. I'm, I'm scared to death mad. of that. I'm scared. I'm scared, of of I'm scared a little bit with with Cup being in my lineup, man. And then late. Uh, what did they play? What did the Rams play? They're only they're scheduled for Tuesday. Tuesday. No. Nope. Tuesday. <laughs> so we go. We go get to that. We go get to that. But back to Atlanta and San Francisco. We know you got your boy. We know you got your boy, Cordero. Um, San Francisco. Hey, I got, I got, you talk about your tight end. I got a tight end on my other league that put me in a, in a buy for this week in my work league. So um, I know about that, but who else for San Francisco? I mean, is Jimmy G still doing it? Jimmy G still, they drafted this guy, number two, um, Trey Lance, and Jimmy G is still there doing it. Yeah, he is, man. And, you know, I picked him up last season because he was, the talk of the season because he was he was backup quarterback for Tom Brady, blah, blah, blah. 
you know, and he, he was trash, bro. He was garbage, and he's still garbage. But was he, he had, garbage? His record says he wasn't garbage. Bro. But the eye test said. Fantasy, <laughs> when it comes to fantasy, he was garbage. No, you see, yo, you, everything you do is fantasy. I love that shit. I love it. Yes. I love it. I love it. But let me ask you this then. From real life, real life, we think Daniel Jones is probably gone. We think so. Maybe not, but we think so. Dude, he picked up a quarterback that never had a national title. He was a a nobody. Right, at Duke. You know? <laughs> Duke. Yeah, and like, it's like, I mean, let me tell you something. His debut, awesome. I give him that. After that, trash. And he's had some some rushing, some rushing touchdowns. Yeah, he yo, runs the ball. There it is right there. There it is right there. Daniel Jones can run. Yeah, and they he's don't fast. run him enough. They don't run him enough. Mm-hmm. He can run. He's an athletic dude. Yep. They don't utilize that enough. I agree yep. with that right there. Well, Giants, is, Giants is, you know, I wish they would go back to the I formation, bro, because they were they did better at I formation than what they're doing, you know, shotgun. Okay. Like, I, I that's a I'm a high, I'm a strong believer of that. I played in high school. Yeah. That I formation is I deadly. Formation. Yay. You know, I'm trying to tell you that old classic lineup is just it, it's it's tough to defend. It's <laughs> tough to defend if you play it right. You have the line, you know, picking up their key blocks. I mean, it, it, works. Together, yes. it works. Yeah. It works. And ever agree. since they lost Coughlin, they fucked the whole program up. And that's why we have a terrible record the last three, four seasons. You know, and y'all picked up not, who was y'all offensive coordinator? The old Dallas Cowboy coach? What were you thinking about? Mr. Mr. Average? Why the hell would you pick him up to be your offense coordinator? <laughs> but look. Yeah. You know, they thought he was going to be good because of the record he had with the Cowboys. And but he was just, average. Eight and eight, eight and eight, eight and eight. Yeah, it was completely a bust, man. It was completely Let me ask bust. you this. I feel Let like he was sabotaging the Giants. Like, yo, fuck these niggas. Hey, you know, let me ask you this though: If Daniel Jones is gone, and y'all miss out on Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson, would you be happy if y'all got Jimmy Garoppolo? Because oh, what? obviously he's gonna be gone probably next year because Trey Lance is gonna be there. Somebody's yeah. gonna get Jimmy Garoppolo. How would you feel about Garoppolo? Um, uh, if a scale of one to ten, I would say seven. So you would take him then. You take yeah. you feel good. I mean, with he's him. not a bad quarterback. He's not you a bad he quarterback. Sucked. You ju- let me rewrite. Fantasy. I said fantasy. <laughs> I said fantasy. Sucks. That's right. You did say fantasy. You did say fantasy. But real life, you take him. I take him. Shit. I take him. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway. I would take Jimmy Garoppolo. We can't hear Chris right now, so I'm going to just keep talking. There he is. There he is. There he is. I, I take said Jimmy that, Garoppolo. I said that uh, he was, you know, he's a thrown quarterback. He can throw the ball. He can make shit happen. You know? Yeah, we can't hear the rest of your stuff. Yeah. So you talking trash. See, they ble- look, they bleeping you out like, don't listen to this mug no more. He's still thinking he's a fantasy quarterback because he ain't a fantasy quarterback. And I know what you're saying because when I used to get Tony Romo every year in fantasy, I knew I ain't care about him in, in real life, but in fantasy, but fantasy. Yeah, Matthew he Stafford was the same time. I mean, that's Aaron, Rodgers. that's Aaron Rodgers to me. Aaron Rodgers is a fantasy quarterback, hands he, down. He wins no games. He wins, and he wins games. games. Yeah, yeah, but even if he did win – He's still putting up 35, 40 yeah. points. It's ridiculous. Yo, I hate Aaron Rodgers. He's probably my least. Yo, I was no, going to no, say no, that earlier. My least. I said this earlier in part one. Aaron Rodgers is one of the most hated quarterbacks in the yes. league because, yo, you look, he just makes shit happen. He's like, yo, tackle that motherfucker, yo. Yeah. You know, just tackle him. Yeah. You know? It, and it's just, look at his teams over the years. Look at his teams. Yeah, he's had some some good receivers maybe once in a while. Jordy Nelson, you know what I'm saying, Devontae Adams now. But, like, it, it never seems like he has a whole lot. 
it, it never seems like it gets a a, a lot to help him yeah. ever. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't so, you mean? But I feel like Aaron Rodgers is one of those quarterbacks that can win you games. There's not many quarterbacks in the NFL that you can yeah, say if, he's going to win so, me a game. He's going to win me a game. The Giants for somehow spend their whole cap on yes. getting Aaron Rodgers or yes. Russell Wilson. I swear to goodness, Giants making playoffs next year. Thank you. I don't care what nobody say. But Drew and Tommy talking about, eh, we don't want him. We don't want him. We'd rather no. have we'd rather have Tony Teddy Bridgewater. No, I want I want David Carr. Derek Carr. He, be like, he wasn't ready. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't they not ready. That's what hey, boy. I don't want Aaron Rodgers. Shut up. No. Yeah, yeah he want yeah, he get. Look at Aaron Rodgers and see what Aaron Rodgers does for his team. I bet you he'd be all Aaron exactly. Rodgers. Exactly. Jeez. So speaking of Aaron Rodgers, the next game, Green Bay, 10-3 and three Green Bay, number one in the NFC, by the way, by the way, against Baltimore, who might not have Lamar Jackson. So for fantasy, if you had Lamar Jackson on your team. His backup quarterback, though, ain't bad. He's not bad. He can run too. <laughs> Try to tell you, man. Okay. So would you play? Would you play the backup quarterback in fantasy playoffs? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. But if you had Lamar, let's say you had Lamar Jackson, would you play Lamar Jackson this week? He practiced today again. Oh, He's damn. been hurt in and out all the time. I mean, but look at Roethlisberger. He only practiced two or three days a week, if I'm, that. He's still. I'm not playing Roethlisberger. I Are know, you? but if I had Lamar Jackson, I probably would play him. Oh man. Hey, I mean, you know why? To, my my, my, to say my defense. Not your backup. My defense is that he's the running back. He's the quarterback. Yeah, I get that. I get it. And, and you're right. I, mean, it would, I would have to have a good backup for me not to play. Yeah, but you I mean, know what? Like I told you two episodes ago was that they figured out Mahomes and they figured out Jackson, and now look at them this season. Right. All right, before we get to the next game, we want to pause real quick for a member of my sponsors. want to give a shout-out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back, welcome back, Relative Sports Talk 56. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still here with Chris, y'all. We still here doing things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm still here doing it, y'all. Right, <laughs> hey, somebody out here trying to get money, you know what I'm saying? Get these sponsorship <laughs> ads, man. Let's get it popping. That's what's getting popping. They're teaching me all kinds of new things. I'm trying to get that paper, too. Anyway, yeah. Tom Brady has lost to the Saints three straight games. Three straight games he's lost. Now he, he's at home, 10-3. and three. You know what I'm saying? Got to keep up with Green Bay, 10-3. and three. Saints come to town. Tom Brady got anything to worry about? Or does the Saints still got this number? I think I think the Saints are going to bring that pressure. To, they're going to they're gonna make him have to get out that pocket. They don't get him out that pocket. They, 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 they may still lose. There's time. We're talking about Tom Brady. End of the season, once they get the end of once they get the playoffs, he's gonna want another ring. He wants it. Like and I bet it. you, yeah, like I want it. Okay. So unless they bring that pressure to get him out that pocket, bro, he's gonna destroy them. Is that that's so you're telling me they have to put pressure on Tom Brady in order to win? Oh my god, hands down. What else? Is that the only way they're gonna win? Uh they gotta they they, they got that offense has gotta step up, bro. Here's what I'm thinking. They got, they got. They have a decent. They have a decent offense. Their Taysom offense. Hill. Is Taysom Hill's their quarterback, right? What you just say yeah. about Lamar Jackson? What you say about Lamar I, Jackson? He's the quarterback and a running back. Yeah. And what happens when you run the ball? It runs the clock. It runs the clock. Keep Tom Brady off the field. Taysom Hill, exactly. run the ball. Plus, you still got Alvin Kamara. Now, I picked up. I picked up uh, Traquan Smith. Why receiver? From New Orleans. Yes, Are you sir. Play him? No. So what you pick him up for? Because it was a last minute, last minute thing when I had a, I got rid of um, who did I get rid of? 
Who did I get rid of? I forgot who I got rid of, yo, but I had to pick him up. So you might I had have to play him. I had bye weeks on a bunch of my wide receivers, so you I had to pick him up. You might have to play him. Knock on wood, this whole COVID shit, I'm telling you, I am nervous as hell about this COVID stuff with all these games getting moved to two on Monday, two on Tuesday, all this. I'm nervous as hell. I'm, yeah. I'm to the point where I'm like, I might change my strategy and play all my players early that I know is going to play. I'm scared that somebody ain't gonna play. Facts, bro. I, I'm I'm it makes you think I'm, about things differently, yo. It makes me think, I don't know, man. My running backs right now, I'm really I got corduroy, corduroy, but oh my gosh, man. I don't know if I should play Boston Scott. I don't got Corduroy. nobody, yo. And McKissick was my dude, but then his concussion shit. He was I, got, I got Gibson. I need Gibson to have a big game. So what's your options? What's your options at running back? <laughs> well, McKissick is out. He's still questionable. Ain't and I don't think he's gonna play for Tuesday. Who knows? Oh, yeah, Tuesday. You're right. You're right. You know, and they're playing Philly, Boston Scott, also for Tuesday. Who's your starters? Cordero and I have all I got, I got Royce Freeman in there. Oh my God. Royce Freeman, Boston Scott, and J.D. McKissick, that's all you got? Well, I'll tell you what. Houston's down to their last running back, which is Royce Freeman. So you might get, actually – you might play Royce Freeman in the fantasy playoffs. You might have to. I might, I might have to. Wow. I bet you, guess how many points he's projected? Three? I had 260. How much? <laughs> He was yeah, he was projected 11 yesterday. Today, 260. What changed? I don't know. Nothing. Somebody's there out of nothing. protocol then. There was nothing Somebody out of protocol. Somebody changed. What was that? Somebody's nothing. out of the COVID protocol then. Probably Burkhead or or somebody. Nah, Burkhead's hurt. He's out. He was out. So why would he go from 14 to three to whatever two? <laughs> Oh, 12. He had 11, almost 12 points projected. What happened now? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. I would, he really blew my mind. I was man, like, yo, I'm nervous. what? I'm nervous, about, I'm nervous about that for you, bro, because I know how bad you want to win and get – I know how you want to get to the get to I, might have, I might have to find the bullet and end up picking up some random-ass running back. I'm not even going to say nothing. But I already saw I mean, somebody. I mean, I could pick up Montgomery from New Orleans, but come on, y'all. Pick up who? <laughs> Montgomery. Ty Montgomery? But he's reserved COVID-19. No. No. Let's move on to the next game because I'm giving you all this credit for all this fantasy stuff, and now you're making me look like I'm an idiot. <laughs> So mad, bro. Next game, Las Vegas and Cleveland. Big time game, big time game for playoffs and everything at everything else. Vegas, tight end is not gonna play. You got anybody on that team on either team playing? No, Vegas and who else? And Cleveland. First of all, who you think is gonna win? Who you got winning? It's been – running the backs has been my my kryptonite this whole season. But you've been coming through. Somebody's yeah. always coming through for you. Like every week, every week, every week this year, I've had to pick up different running backs. So why Literally. aren't you trying to make a trade or something? The only – I tried, man. People didn't want to trade. And I'm over here trying to trade, like, good players. You know, I'm not going to – you know, I'm trading. I'm trying to trade running backs, maybe one wide receiver that are decent playmakers. You know, but I did one trade this year, and that was with Drew. And I gave him uh, Brandon. I gave him um, Brandon Cooks, and he. Oh, you he, gave him Brandon gave me, Cooks. Ooh. He, AJ Green. AJ Green. Yeah, AJ Green. Yeah. So that could work out for both of y'all because Cooks did good for him all year, and AJ Green might be. Somebody that saves you in the playoffs since Waddle's out. 
Oh, Brady Cooks ain't done shit for him since he traded. Brady Cooks? Brady Cooks has always put up double digits. Yo, Texas, he, he hasn't been playing them. Oh, well, that's his dumbest. Yep. All right, so Cleveland, Kareem Hunt's out. Does Nick Chubb have a big game? I hope so. That's my guy. Nick Chubb. You're talking about Nick Chubb, bro. He's a monster. Okay. But the quarterback's out. Baker Mayfield's out. Can Cleveland still win? Jarvis oh, they look out. They're going to be running game. They, it's going to be running game if they if the quarterback's out. It's going to be a running game. Running game. Yep. That's why I'm that's why I'm tempted to pick up Dearness Johnson just to put on my bench. Just because if something happens with Chubb, he's gonna be the guy. Dearness Johnson. Yep. All right, Minnesota, Chicago. Minnesota six and seven. They trying to fight for the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what wide receivers you got or whoever you got anybody for either team. I think Minnesota's gonna win first off. Yeah, I got Kirk Cousins. That's your quarterback, quarterback, ain't it? And I got their defense. Yo, Kirk Cousins is your quarterback, ain't he? Yes, he is. He's been. Yo, he's been I doing remember it. clowning you. I remember clowning you for weeks. Shit. Like, you got Kirk Cousins. That's your stuff. What the? Kirk Cousins is okay. He was clowning me, son. He was clowning me. He was he's like, doing the, t- he's doing the Tony Romo. He's doing the Romo. He's not gonna be a winner. He's not gonna win shit. But fantasy wise, he's get he's the still hunt. They He'll still in the hunt. Play. They still in the hunt. So you're playing Kirk Cousins this week in fantasy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who's They're your backup Chicago. quarterback? Um, who is my backup quarterback? Uh Mac Jones. You got Mac Jones and and, yeah, and you, uh-huh. yo, and you got a running back situation or whatever. That's yo, you must be I've been winning and I've been winning. Saying. That's what I'm saying. Your other players are fucking studs. Waddle's been a stud, Kelsey's a stud, Cordero Patterson's been a stud. You've got players that have just been doing and see Cup. I, yeah, Cooper Cup. Cup. Oh, 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 sorry, Cooper Cup, who might be fantasy player of the year. So what I'm saying to you is, does this change the way people draft? I don't know how you draft, but nine times out of ten, most people draft uh, running backs if first. One thing, running backs one first thing and everything else. Always told me is you can't always depend on these big name players or whatnot. Every season is different, and I look in the players that performed very well, whether they were wide receiver two, wide receiver three, because they're gonna be the next one getting them targets the following year. Because you know you can't always depend on that key player who's going to make plays, you know, right. you're not going to have a Cooper Cup every, every season from that player. You know, Cooper Cup could be a bust next year and not put up half the points that he put up this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I draft, I always draft at least one rookie, hands down. And so that was your first picks, me. your first picks, seeing what ha- seeing what's been going on with the running backs, seeing with this longer schedule has been doing to all the, I mean, running backs everywhere. Does that change the way you're going to draft next year? Because everybody usually next, drafts a running yeah, back next, first. They usually draft I mean, a running back year, first. Next year, it's going to be it's going to be hard whether I'm going to keep Kelsey again this year. Kelsey's your keeper? No, it was yeah, this year he was my keeper. Yeah. Next year But the way he, but the way they they the, but they they you know, they've shut him down for many weeks on end, bro. I mean, shut him down. But no four points two two weeks in a row two points one week like they've been shutting them down so, so the my keeper next year is gonna be cooper cup for damn sure yeah for damn so sure. would you keep it a wide receiver right there i will be looking at running backs my first round first pick. pick first big running back still it's gonna be many running backs available because a lot of these players in fantasy get all these crazy fantasy players and they can't they keep all of them but one can't keep them all can't keep them all so i'm I'm telling you, I'm looking next year. I'm definitely looking at Eckler. That's my eyes on Eckler. Hands That's down. That's who I should have kept. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eckler. Um, what's a, what's that? What's another uh another, you know, I, I doubt Jonathan whoever... Taylor. Jonathan Taylor will be the number one pick in the draft unless he's kept. Obviously, he's gonna be unless kept. Yeah, exactly. But he got good players too. And he's gonna have a hard time wondering who's gonna keep. 
Who is that? Um, whoever whoever's got Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, who does got Jonathan? Is it Rolling I think Dion's got Jonathan Taylor. Dion's got Jonathan Taylor, I think. Who? What's Dion? Is he? Is he? Is he? Trav- is he to He's, top uh, what is her team? Um, oh shit! What is it? Raider? No, Gold Road Rush. No, nah, that's not her. Um, Unknown substance. No. Elite. It's elite. I think. Oh, she's like. Nigga something or something. <laughs> what does it say? Night, night, nigga. Yeah, that's her. That's her. <laughs> nah, that's right. Yeah, she. She got Jonathan She's going to have on top. She got CD Lamb, she Prescott, got Barkley, Taylor. Yeah, she got. Barkley and Taylor? Barkley and Taylor. And who else? CD Lamb. Nope. And Prescott as a quarterback. It's Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, I think she might keep Jonathan Taylor. She might keep him. If she's smart, she'll keep him. Yeah. So, I mean, it's crazy. Like, looking at me, I've always drafted like running back in the first like two, three rounds. But now looking at this, looking at this this year, I'm like, man, maybe I need to go after a stud receiver in the first two rounds because look at this. Honky Kong. Either he's going to keep Josh Allen. That's who you playing. I know he's, he's going to keep Josh Allen. No, okay? he ain't. He's or Dalvin Cook or Eckler. He can't keep both of them. Dalvin Cook or Eckler. Who is he going to keep? I Brandon, think he's going to keep, keep Brandon. <laughs> Dalvin? I, I think he'll keep big, I got him in the big league, Dalvin Cook. And he was hurt so much. And I had Madison too, but yep. Eckler, I don't I think know. If he's smart, he keep acting. That's the if decision he's smart. to make, though. But I think I think he's gonna be one of those quarterback keepers and keep Josh Allen. Nah, I think he's gonna- not Brandon, not Brandon. Nah, uh-uh. Brandon's keeping one of the running backs. Keep one of the running backs. We'll see. Now Drew might keep Tom Brady or something like that. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? it's crazy. <laughs> like Angel did. Angel kept Tom Brady for two years in the big league, which will be Sean last year. year. Sean used to be in fantasy. That was his keeper. Who it was, was Tom Brady? Sean Mullet. Oh, I know. He used to love that play. Tom Brady he kept. I was like, Jesus Christ. All right, look back to the, back to. The, we got two more games left. We got the Washington Football Team going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. They both six and seven. The winner will still be in the playoffs. Who's gonna win that game? Jalen Hurts, is he going to play? Is he hurt? You know what I'm saying? The Redskins, or Washington's quarterback, is in COVID. But they don't play again on Tuesday. So, like you said about McKissick, he might play. Who's going to win that game? I see I see Eagles winning that. Eagles winning? I, see I, Eagles picked, the, winning. I picked the Eagles, too. But I did that just because if they win, I picked it right on my pick If they lose, it watch it or whatever. <laughs> but I need Antonio Gibson to show up and show out. I need him to have a Kelsey game. Well, I need, him to have I a need Kelsey game. You need Boston, play Boston Scott. If I be if I play Boston Scott, I need him to show the fuck up. Are you comfortable with Boston Scott? Really? What makes Bro, you comfortable? Boston he's a, Scott. I mean, he, Bro, I don't got nobody. And that's crazy. Either it's him or it's Royce Freeman. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, yo, because the is going to be out. How did you set yourself up for that like that? I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. Somebody I had get some hurt on your team? Somebody get hurt? I, I had um, some Seahawks. Um, Alex Collins. You no, it Alex wasn't Collins. Collins. I, yeah, I had Collins, yeah. yeah. He got you hurt. Who I got? Like, I got Rashard Penny on my team. Yeah. Now, who's this new starter? Yeah, I, 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 you know, I picked. I tried to pick him up, and you was you got him in the waiver before I did. Yeah, buddy. man. Yeah, you know who you should have got was Michael Carter, but I think Brandon or somebody picked him up. I'm surprised mm-hmm. Brandon. I ain't trying to jinx you, but I'm surprised Brandon ain't playing Michael Carter. They said he's gonna get all the carries. The coach came out and said it. 
said he yeah. will have a significant role. He's on his bench. Yep. Who's he playing over him? Uh, he has – no, yeah. Oh, he's on injured reserve. Yeah, but he's guaranteed play, though. I mean, he's going to play, though. Who's That's his two running he, backs? Who's his two running backs? He played Eckler last night, and oh, yeah. he had – and yeah, he played Eckler. But Eckler was his flex. He played Montgomery, D. Montgomery, and Dalvin Cook. Boy, yeah, Dalvin. First of all, Brandon, if you're watching this, Brandon – you know better than to ever play a Thursday night player in your flex, homie. You put them in the, in the running back spot. That way, if something happens, you got flexibility for the flex. You know better than that, Brandon. Tighten it up, Brandon. That's stupid. Why would he play a player in the flex? Now you handcuffed yourself. You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? Yeah, but, I, got a, I got AJ Green as my flex. But that's okay, though. That's okay. That's okay. So you got uh, Philly winning? I got Philly winning, yeah. All right, he, got Goder, he got Goder, too, for, for Philly. Who? On his, he has Goder for Philly. Oh, the tight end? Yeah. He ain't putting up no 38 points, though. That's damn Ooh. sure. But his running backs will do better than Boston Scott or Royce Freeman, dude. Hey, hey let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. I don't see him. I don't see him beat me. I see I'm his players. Confident. I see his players shit in the bed this week. I feel it. I feel yeah. his players shit in the bed. You and Drew, you and Drew, man, I don't even know what to say, man. I have had the fantasy heartbreak. I have had the up by 50 points and loss. You know what I'm saying? Brandon knows what I'm talking about. Him. It's a hell of a fucking upset. Yo, check this out. One day when I was working at Bob Evans, right? And we're sitting there, Keith and everybody, we're chilling. I needed two points to go to the championship game. Two. I had the Ravens defense. This one, Ray Lewis in them there, right? Two points. They got me negative two points, and I lost. Oh, geez. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. So y'all keep saying that y'all going to win. I ain't jinxing none of that shit. Nope. I'll see what happens at the end, because I've been through all that. Been through all that. Seahawks and Rams, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Co- Cooper Cup. Um, I see him. COVID. I still see him. I know. And this is tough to really. Fuck. This I'm tough going Rams. Me. Rams will smash. I'm going Rams. I'm going to him Rams. I'm going to go with Rams, obviously. I got my man's Cooper Cup, you know. Oh, geez, man. But Russell Wilson, man. God, Lee, that dude. He's just another Aaron Rodgers to me, too. Pisses me off. I hate Russell Wilson. You know? He runs. He just gets away. He gets away, and they're like, yo, dude, you just had him in your hands, and you got away. And then he gets the damn he, – and it's always Lockett that saves his ass. Lockett's out. Lockett's out, though. No way. He's in COVID. Out. Oh, yeah. All he got what? is DK Metcalf. I hope I'm not going against DK Metcalf because that could be some bad stuff. Wow. Yeah, lock it out. That's why they said the sleeper tight end was Gerald Everett because of the targets. But I'm I had him. He's available too, yo. I'm not doing that. Everett. I, got stu- I, I got see Everett. I see Everett definitely putting some numbers up this you week. You think so against that Rams defense? I mean, look. The ball's got to go somewhere. He's got to go somewhere, and he's he's a big wide, big tight end. That's why Rashard Penny, the running back. But I, but now I'm not. I took him out of the starting lineup though, because I got both Patriot running backs, Stevenson and Harris. Now they said Harris is out. Harris ain't playing. So what did I do? I put Stevenson in, in the starting lineup. I think uh-huh. if he gets the the, the 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 Patriots run the ball. The Patriots run the ball. I need Stevenson to show out. I need Stevenson. JMU's down 13 nothing. Oh, no. Another the heartbreaker Florida. to North Dakota State. Uh, Who, went what? Dakota yeah. State? Who went to North yeah. Dakota State? Trey Lance for the 49ers. Carson and, Wentz. And Carson Wentz, who I pretend is pulling the upset against the Patriots this week. Doing it. Yo. 
13 nothing against the you know, North Dakota State, man. That motherfucker is always in the finals. Always there. JMU's got the ball. They're, they're driving right now. But before we get to our final stuff, before we get to our final stop, pause real quick for my sponsors. You know what I'm saying? They love and relish on Sparse Talk. Hey, give, give a couple minutes for the sponsors. Money, 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 money. <laughs> All right, welcome back, brothers of Sports Talk. Brother Wack. Hey, we still here. We still here doing it. Finishing up our football Friday. Um, we in the playoffs. We in the playoffs. We might play each other. We could we could play each other in the finals. We could play each other in the finals. We could, we could. We gotta win. And that, and that would and be that sweet. would be epic to me because That'd I've been be waiting. Sweet, yo. That'd be sweet. Cause I know waiting I five seasons. Wait five right. seasons. I've been waiting five seasons for this hey, shit. It could happen, yo. It could happen. We'll see what happens. Um, got to get through this week. So here's my question: Do you think any games will be pushed out of there? They won't play these Tuesday uh, games. These Tuesday I, games. I think, Murray? I think they'll play. If both Tuesday games don't oh, play, we're talking about the National Football League. These niggas got more pool than anybody, any other sports out there. That's true. That's true because everybody was doing COVID. Like, cancel college basketball. Cancel this. They NFL did, was like, did, NFL was did. like, no fuck. That. They, they did change with it starting. Start. I think next week they're starting. Masks has got to be worn out on, on the yep. field. Fifteen people to the gym. I mean, they got it now. They change it to where you got to get at least. One COVID test result positive, uh, negative, and then a swab negative instead of two or some shit In like 24 that. Hours, yeah. 24 yeah, they, hours, yeah. They doing it. They, they they trying to make sure that everybody plays. They trying to make sure they like if you already been vaccinated. And see, this goes back to my whole thing. If you've already been vaccinated, not fake vaccinated like Antonio Brown and Aaron Rodgers. If you've really been vaccinated, they're saying, "Hey, we've been vaccinated. Let's let's bring the protocols down so we can make sure they play." This bothers me that Kyrie Irving and these other people get away with doing this shit when it affects your team. Suppose this happened in the NBA and they say, hey, it's going to be easier for people to play because y'all are vaccinated. Then we go to the Nets and it's like, uh, he's not vaccinated. So whatever. Are we still going to be chill with him? Are you still chill with somebody that can hurt your team? Cole Beasley's not vaccinated. Suppose they get close. If they win the game, they're they're in the playoffs. If they lose, they're out. He gets COVID. He was around Josh Allen. Now Josh Allen can't play because he was around him. You know what I'm saying? And it just happened to be on a Saturday or some crazy weird thing. Now, now your starting quarterback can't play. You lose the game, you got the playoffs. Are we talking about quarterbacks? You're talking about quarterbacks, though, do the doing this yeah. number. Yeah. You know, are you cool with that? How do you say, how do you say that we're still, yo, you're my teammate and I still love you. <laughs> you, how? You can cost your team. I don't understand how people are like, no, oh, I'm still going to love my team. No, motherfucking shit. You, this is a livelihood. This is a lot, it's 18 weeks. Kill somebody, bro. I mean, come on. You could die from this shit, man. And then the new strain or something, the new strain is crazy. My yeah. kids are not, my kids are not vaccinated. I am. If I'm Money. a professional athlete and I get it, my, my vaccination is helping me, but I gave it to my kid and something happened to them because Cole Beasley didn't get vaccinated. Yeah. You affecting all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah. More than a football I game. I, I, I haven't got vaccinated and I have strong beliefs like, yo, why the hell I want to get a shot where I can still get that shit? Because my fiance's uncle and aunt got vaccinated months prior. They came to my house. And we all caught COVID. Ooh. Yeah. So, so I was like, yo, COVID. what? Oh, yeah, I had it. Then, and so how'd you feel? But here's the thing. All I had was a stuffy nose. I didn't have no symptoms but a stuffy nose. But it was positive for COVID. Right. And I was like, yo, yeah. what? Yeah, I tested positive for it. I had no reaction either. I had nothing. But with me and my health and my asthma and everything else, I wonder if I didn't have that vaccination, if it would have hit me in a different way. Because I've seen... Other things happen to people. You know what I mean? So, yeah. and, and, and you know, I will never dog a person's free right to do anything. I'll never do that yeah. because everybody, is, I was against it. If I didn't work where I worked at, 
I probably still wouldn't have it. To be honest yeah. with you. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have so they time, made me do it. It's a matter of time before they make it mandated. Yeah. Any medical field, because I work in the in, in the dentistry. So any medical field, oh yeah, they're gonna make it that you have to or you can't work, point blank. Right. That's and what they did in my job, it. basically. Yeah. They're gonna do it eventually, and it's just a matter of time, and I'm gonna have to get it, whatever. Okay, you know, I gotta work, I gotta eat, I gotta feed my kids. So right. that's what it comes down to. And you uh -oh. know, when it comes down to the we professional athletes. We got 30 seconds left. Oh, no, we don't. We got four minutes left. When it comes to these professional yeah. athletes that are, you know, like you said in part one, when we pay these mofos to go out there and play, you know, and for you to neglect important things like this to and not only neglect the, your, you know, fans, but you're neglecting your team and you're neglecting what you stand for as far as a professional. And, right. you know, it's like, is this you got to do it, dude? I mean, you can't pay millions of dollars to get your ass in the office and, and, and the clinic and get your damn vaccination, dude. That's it's not that thing. far off. Like me and you, we work at regular jobs. If we decide not to get the vaccination, we can go work at another job that doesn't require that. But if you in a if you a superstar and you whatever, the NFL says, Hey, we want you to have that to be affiliated with our organization, then you should have to have it or quit the NFL. That's my I mean, thing. I'm not telling you to do it or whatever. You're your old man. But if you want to enjoy the life of luxury and everything that comes with it, then you need to abide by the guidelines that go with it. You know yep. what I mean? If they say you can't smoke weed, you can't smoke weed, then you can't smoke weed. If you can't do this, you can't do that. Same you remember many years ago when there was like 12, maybe 20 players out because they were positive for marijuana. Yeah. And now I couldn't even believe it. It's legalized everywhere. Nigga, Virginia. I don't know. Virginia is legal. Who dude, that was that was history. Yeah, that Virginia was crazy. guy. Commonwealth that State. That's crazy. Commonwealth State. Mm -hmm. That is so, crazy, yo. Jamie, you scored 13-7. Oh my Are gosh, yes. Home? Coming back. We'll see. We'll see. We'll you see. Know, and, they, and they can't win no CAA. Because <laughs> they crying. They mad. <laughs> yeah. So they, even if they win, it doesn't really matter, right? Even if they beat them? No, nah, if they win this, they can win a national championship. They just can't win a CAA title. Who cares about CAA yeah. title? Real quick, we got three minutes left. Pause real quick for my sponsor to give our last shout out. Welcome back, <laughs> Relative Sports Talk, episode 56, closing remarks. With me and Chris doing it, we're doing it. And what's your name in fantasy, Chris? Killer Instinct in the building. Killer Instinct. I've been living up to my name change this season. Yo, you've been doing it. I ain't going to lie. You've been doing it, man. You've been doing big things, especially. Hey, yo, you the crazy part is I haven't had these monstrous freaking star players. Okay, Cooper Cup, I give him that. But Hold on, hold on. Stop. Stop. I ain't had no monstrous players. You got the number one player fantasy, Cooper Cup. What, what is this guy talking about? I haven't had star players. Not at all. Well, that's I only had the number one guy. guy. Okay, and Travis Kelsey, but he hasn't done shit all season. So, no, yeah, yes. Cooper Cup has. Cooper Cup yeah. and Cordero Patterson. Cordero right. Patterson carried you probably from week two to like week eight. He was killing through them jokes. No. Killing, you know bro. I mean? Killing. But now we got to finish. We got less than a minute. Less than a minute. What are you hoping for Sunday and Saturday and, and Monday and Tuesday? What are you hoping for for your fantasy team? What do you need? All Real the players play. to play. Who? Name the names. Put it, speak it into Cooper his Cup. T. Higgins. Uh. Kirk Cousins. Uh. A.J. Green. Uh. Royce Freeman comes out of his ass with some shit. Or oh, Boston Scott. Royce Freeman. <laughs> Boston Scott. I'm looking He's for cold. all the players. He's speaking into existence. I'm, I'm hoping Minnesota defense step up, man. They had 24 points for me last week. Who they play? And they ended up, huh? They play in Detroit. Why not? They're playing Why Chicago. They're playing Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Keenan Allen came yep. through for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Gibson, Chubb, Kyle Pitts. I need you. Kyler Murray. Stay healthy, baby. I need you. 
We doing it. Russell Sports Talk. All right, Chris. Peace. All right. Peace.